I have been totally opposed to weapons in space since the very beginning. Now, we do use, uh, we have observation platforms in space, but what I mean is active weaponry. Uh, I, f I think that active weaponry in space is a sure way to begin war, because what civilized nation is going to uh, allow uh, a weapon orbiting overhead that could cause destruction at a moment's notice. They're gonna, first thing they're going to do is shoot it down. So you're putting a hair trigger on confrontation, and in particular nuclear confrontation, when you have weapons in space. So it's vital that the nations of the world uh, agree not to have weapons in space, and that the United Nations be the lead, take the lead in uh, keeping this from happening if we want to survive, to assure the survival of our planetary civilization. Uh, Carol Rosen, who was uh, working with Werner von Braun up until almost the point he'd passed, and we were all very passionate about giving weapons out of space <coughs> and moving forward in a peaceful way and assuring that no weapons could get into space. So Carol was working with Werner uh, I was totally uh, in agreement with all of this, but we haven't really been able to move forward yet and get a treaty signed by all of the nations of the world to keep weapons out of space, which we must do. Do you think, uh, what do you think will be the, the uh, or could be the catalyst to make that happen? I mean, I agree getting nation states to sign this, but there's a real hesitancy of nation states to do anything like this. Um, I mean, we thought we'd start with the indigenous nations first because they have a greater awareness of what it's like to, to, um, to live under suppression. Or, you know. But what, what do you think will it take? What communities need to know about this? What, you know, how could we push this forward? I don't really know how to, <clears throat> I do not know how to uh, get interest up in this, uh, except for the very fact of threat, uh, the threat of the catastrophe that can happen if we were to start to put weapons in space. At the moment, observational platforms is fine, but active weaponry in space is something that we need to avoid, and, uh, but at the moment, any nation could do that if they chose. But I, but I trust that if we did that, it would bring down all the rest of the nations on top of them to, to stop that. But there's no assurance of that until we have a treaty of which all are, are going to agree we're not going to put active weaponry in space. You made a wonderful statement last night, Mr. Mitchell, at your keynote address here at the IONS conference, that um, in several hundred years, we'll talk about where we came from and it won't be Nebraska, and it won't be California. Um, would you be willing for this project to restate that? Because I think that's the key in the, the essence of the purpose of this treaty. You know, is to well, the, the whole notion that I work on these days, and it's tied into this, is the whole problem of sustainability. We're not on, a, civilization is not on a sustainable path. Since the beginning of the 20th century, every measure of human activity has been on an exponential growth curve, which means that the rate of change is increasing uh, along with the change itself. And every measure of human activity is increasing. And that cannot go on indefinitely because you cannot have exponential growth in a finite space. And Earth is a finite space. So we must become, in due course, extraterrestrial. We have to go off this planet in due course in order to survive as a species. We must become an, inter, an interstellar and intergalactic, perhaps, species. But we're a long way from that at this point. And we must do that. But if we're going to survive, we should be doing it in a peaceful way, not in a militaristic way. Is there anything else you'd like to say about the Peace and Space Treaty? Now well, I think, no, I, I think that's what we're saying is fundamental. If we're going to have our survival, if we're going to survive as a species, we need to do it with cooperation, not with hostility and warfare. 
Do you think that those sorts of treaties already exist by other civil I can hardly hear. Do, do you think that the, um, if there are extraterrestrial species out there, that they already have these sorts of treaties as well, and this could lead to treaties? Well, I, I'm not quite sure how the extraterrestrials implement such an idea. We have no indication here from what I know, and I don't consider myself an expert in this area, really, but we don't have any indication here of hostility on the part of extraterrestrials toward us. If that really were, we would, at the moment, have no defense against it. So let's, let's trust at the moment, until we see something different, that we're dealing with, with a friendly, cooperative type of species. I wonder if I could ask um, just one other question that's slightly off topic, but it somewhat relates. I've been a member of MUFON for 10 years now and really educated myself on this whole topic where I wasn't educated before. Um, do you think that uh, the role of MUFON is significant and important for humanity? I'm wondering if you might be willing to make a sound bite that MUFON might be able to, to benefit from or use about the fact that they're just trying to archive sightings and really understand scientifically what's going on. Well, I certainly I will not uh, do a promotional piece for MUFON, right. but uh, at the same time, the whole idea of understanding our extraterrestrial visitors and making connection with them and moving forward in a cooperative way, I, th I consider it very, very important. Now, to the or for the organizations that will address those principles of uh, making connection with our extraterrestrial visitors, and I understand from the lore that there are very there are different species here, and uh, making. Uh, making connection with those that we can and move forward cooperatively in trying to, they have capabilities to get here that we don't have to get away from here. And so we can learn a lot in that, in that regard from our extraterrestrial visitors. And that's what I think we should be trying to do.